All right, back again. This is Ben Flanagan, um, Reebok runner, member of the Reebok Boston Track Club. I am super stoked to be here with Box today, um, leading everybody through some exercises. Um, we're gonna focus on some, I'm, I'm a big runner, um, so we're gonna be focusing on some running exercises today or exercises that can help with your running. So um, for those just logging in, um, hello, welcome. You can see my dog there wandering through the screen. Uh, I'm gonna go get him quick and introduce while we still have a few more minutes. Can everybody hear me okay? Um, I'd really appreciate if you can hear me through the headphones I'm using to just comment and let me know if you can. Hi from Canada, Box Canada, great. This is my puppy, Norman. He's about four months old. He's gonna go take a walk while we do this exercise. But uh, as you can tell, he's a bit of a tired boy right now. He was at the park earlier today. Um, just wanna make sure everyone can hear me all right. Um, if you don't mind just typing in the comment box saying, um, hi Vanessa, if you don't mind uh, commenting in the box and just say sounds good, thumbs up. If you have trouble hearing, with, hearing me, um, feel free to say so too. So cute, thank you, appreciate it. All right, Norman here is gonna go for his walk now. Everyone say bye, sound is great. Good, 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 awesome news. All right, one more look at Norman, bye, bye. All right, so for everyone logging in here, just before we get started, um, my name is Ben Flanagan. I'm a runner, a uh, member of the Reebok Boston Track Club. Um, I've been running for about 10, uh, 10 to 12 years. I don't know, I kind of forget how old I am now. <laughs> but uh, for the past 10, 12 years, I've been you know, running in high school and college and now professionally um, training towards the Olympic Games. So the focus of today's exercise plan is gonna be racing at the Olympics, just because you know that's what I've been trying to do all this time. So uh, we got it about another two minutes here. The only thing I wanna let you know if you haven't grabbed this, which um, you probably hadn't because I haven't told you yet, uh, is we're gonna have, uh, we don't need any mats or anything. We're gonna be using our legs a lot. We're not laying down on the floor. But um, if you wanna grab a couple rolls of toilet paper, um, we're gonna use that just to, as markers and to, to make our track at some point. We're gonna be doing some running. So if you wanna grab two to four rolls of toilet paper, I have four for myself. And if you don't have toilet paper, you really just need any sort of markers. So two to four um, shoes works or anything else. Um, but we won't be using that until after our warm up and everything else. So hi from Calgary, Alberta, love that. You know, unfortunately I've never been to Calgary, but I would love to go. So I'd love to see the stampede. Welcome, thanks for tuning in from Calgary. All right, we got about one more minute here before we start. Um, for any new people that have just logged in, my name is Ben Flanagan. I'm the member of the Reebok Boston Track Club, and I'm super, super excited to be here with Box today. Um, so I don't have any music playing. Feel free to put your own music on. I just want to make sure everyone can hear me loud and clear. Um, and we're going to get started. So um, the last thing I'll ask is if you can just find uh, one sort of area where you have some wall space, we're going to use that for our warm up. I'm gonna check in every once in a while um, to make sure I uh, don't miss any questions here on the screen. I'll check in if anybody has any questions, just comment it right in. All right, let's get started. We love and we'll miss the Olympics. I know, me too, but they'll come back and when they do, we're gonna make sure we're ready for it. So we're staying hopeful. Okay, so again, for anyone who missed it, the theme of today's exercise is racing at the Olympics. So, here we go. Before we got start our race, the first thing we gotta do is warm up and make sure our body's ready. So, here are some exercises that I like to do before I race and that you can do at home, you can do outside, or before you run. So let's get into it. We're gonna start, find an empty space on the wall and we're gonna do some leg swings. So you're gonna put your hands against, you're gonna make sure not to kick the wall, and you're gonna just swing side to side. Make sure you have lots of space. You don't wanna hurt anything right before you start a race. So we're going to start with our right leg here, 15 seconds, and then we're going to turn, go parallel with the wall, hand out, and we're going to go front and back. And you should feel a little stretch in your hamstring 
and your quad on the front and back of your leg as you get warmed up here. All right, that's it for the right leg. We're gonna switch back against the wall. And we're gonna do the left leg. Again, make sure you have lots of space. We don't wanna kick anything or hurt yourself. All right, we're done with the side swings. I'm gonna face away from you a sec to make sure I have my left arm against the wall. I'm ready to go back and forth for the last leg swing. Three, two, one. All right, that one's good because it already gets it warmed up pretty quick. I'm already feeling a little warmer. So, all right, next thing we're gonna do is some skips. So we're gonna go back and forth from the room here. Ho hopefully you have some open space and we're gonna start doing forward skips. What they're gonna look like is little skips like this, moving your arms back and forth like that. So you're just go back and forth from the room, forward, making sure you're getting a full body warm up, a little hop in your step, and moving your arms to warm up your whole body. All right, after a few times going forward, we're gonna turn sideways and do some side skips. Put your arms way over your head to make sure you warm them up too. We're gonna go back and forth so that we're getting each direction. So you don't need to switch sides as long as you're changing direction. If you're going the same way every time, eventually you'll wanna switch. All right, you wanna get a little creative, you can switch in the middle of your skips, just like that. There's lots of ways to do those to make them a little more fun. All right, I wanna make sure I'm not missing any questions here. I'm super excited that you guys are excited. It's gonna be a fun one today. All right, after some skips, we're gonna do everybody's favorite, the butt kicks. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna do quick steps, but you're gonna start kicking your butt. And you wanna move your feet as fast as you can. So it's a little more dynamic. It'll warm you up real quick. So you can do these on the spot, or you can just slowly inch forward as you do them. Whew. All right, after that, we're gonna do some high knees. Similar thing, you can do them on the spot, and we're gonna get our knees as high as we can. This will make your heart rate up too. You wanna move your arms so that you're exercising everything, because when you're running, you're not just using your legs. All right, two more exercises to warm up. We're gonna just do some slow, Arm circles, make sure we don't get any cramping in our arms when we start running, because everyone thinks about using your legs when you're a runner, but you're using a lot more than that, so you wanna make sure everything's warmed up. Start going backwards a little bit, and then to finish off our warm up, as you can tell, I'm already getting hot, I'm breathing pretty heavy. Uh, to finish up our warm up, we're just gonna do a slow jog on the spot, just to get our heart rate down a little bit. So nothing too fast right now, just nice and easy. Okay, we are all warmed up, ready to race. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some stationary running, but I wanna teach you a little bit about racing my way because I run far, I run the 5K and the 10K. If you've ever run a mile, that's four laps around the track. 10K is 25, a lot of laps. So we're gonna start slow. So everyone, if you can, we're gonna start running on the spot, nice and steady, we're gonna pace ourselves. So when I say pace, we're gonna run nice and slow like this. And then, when someone passes you in a race, you gotta instantly turn it on and get that burst of speed, and that's what's called a kick. So we're gonna pace, 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 and then when I say kick, we're gonna run as fast as we can. For 10 seconds. And then pace, back to slow. And this is how I run races. So it gets pretty hard. Is this a warm up you could do before a competition? You could, back to pace. Make sure we're doing this while I'm answering questions. So pace, pace. The only thing that I would add in for what, what I would do before a competition is I actually like to go for a run. So if I'm running a race, uh, 10K on the track, I still wanna make sure I go for a nice 15 minute jog to warm up my whole body, and then maybe some a couple sprints before the race. But yeah, I do like doing drills like the ones we're doing. Okay, back to the focus here. We're pace, 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 and someone's passing the last kick. Fast you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! And pace. Run real slow. Let that heart rate come down again, because we're gonna keep kicking. Need this on a Monday. <laughs> don't, don't we all? So, 
I'm glad that uh, I'm glad you feel that way. Mondays can be a little tricky to get the motivation as high as you need. So hopefully this is a good way to kick off your day if you're on the West Coast. Hopefully it's a good lunch break for those on the East Coast. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. So we're gonna pace, 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 and someone's passing us. Get as fast as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now. Just because I'm a runner, that doesn't mean you have to be a runner to do these exercises. Do we have any, anybody at home that does any different sports? All right, now you can relax. Let that heart rate come down again. That was a tough one. Anybody at home do any different sports? What do we got? Yeah, Sprinting or distance running? I prefer sprinting, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, uh, I love distance running. I've been uh, doing distance for about 10 years now. So the only time I sprint, is when I kick at the end of the race like I was just showing you there. Okay, so we got our running in, now we're gonna focus on an exercise that is great for runners, and that is our skill of the day, which is lunges. Lunges are awesome, they're a great exercise, they help work on some major muscle groups, help work on your posture to keep your running smooth, so we're gonna focus on those today. So, hockey, I love it, oh yeah, all my Canadians out there. I played hockey for 10 years before I started running, just a heads up. I don't look like it anymore. <laughs> Horseback riding, swimming, love it. We got, we got a ton of athletes in the crowd playing a bunch of different things. That's awesome. All right, I wanna make sure I don't get too distracted here. So, we're gonna start, stand up straight. Lunge, for those who've never done it before, I want some, uh, some more technical practice. You're gonna take your right foot and you're gonna step out as far as you can. Let me get out a little further here so you can see better. Step out as far as you can, your left leg you're gonna bring your knee close to the ground but not touching, and you're gonna make sure that back foot, the heel is off the ground. And then you can come right back up like this, switch, leg up, step out as far as you can, keep that knee close to the ground and that heel up. Now the important thing we wanna focus on today is when we get into a lunge, we don't want this knee to go over our toe. We wanna to keep it at 90 degrees. I'm gonna come up here and just fix my camera. Make sure you guys can see me properly. Got a soccer player in the crowd too, love it. Okay, so one more time. Step forward. This is at 90 degrees, you can see that. Back knee is close to the ground, heel is up, and we're gonna come back. Switch to the left leg, step forward, down. Now these are stationary lunges. What that means is we're staying in the same place as we do them. If you're getting too tired and you haven't recovered from the pace and kick, don't be afraid to take a break. Let your heart rate come down. We want to make sure we're doing these technically right. These aren't supposed to be super intense. We want the, we want the technical side of it to be correct and make sure we're not hurting anything. All right, we're going to do one more. There we go. Ready to back up. Okay, so those are the stationary lunges. We're going to switch it up a little bit more. And now what we're going to be doing is walking lunges. So we are staying in the same place. Now we're going to continuously move. And that's a little bit more challenging. So... If you want to stick with stationary, that's okay, but I'm going to show you the walking lunges because you get a little bit more power output and a little bit more of a challenge. So right foot comes forward. Don't forget the things we learned. 90 degrees, knee close to the ground, heel up, and then we're going to walk forward and then go in right into our next lunge. And then you can keep doing that if you have more space, or if you get to the wall, turn around, do that again. Down, forward, push off, down again. And then when you come up like that, go down. When you come up, get your knee up. Because that'll help uh, work your quads as well, like your flexors, some other things. So, all right. So the last thing I wanna do, I'll do one more set of those while I tell you about why lunges are important. And that's because we perform lunges all the time, whether you realize it or not, from tying your shoes, picking something off the floor, moving furniture, and it's great because it works these huge muscle groups, your gluteus maximus, which is your bum, your quadriceps, and uh, it keeps you very strong. So, we're done with our initial lunges, and now we're going to spice it up a little bit more and add some mobility to these lunges. So, now we need our toilet paper, just as a marker. You don't have to, if you like going between the walls that you're doing, that's fine. I'm gonna put some toilet papers down just to make sure I've got a good marking. So we're gonna do our walking lunge, and what we're gonna be doing is, or, or you can do a lunge and come back up, stop, 
lunge, come back up, stop, and that's a little bit easier than the full walkthrough. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some mobility, which is making sure we're moving in a different direction. So when we come through like this, if we have any kinesiology people in the crowd, we're in, this, we're in the sagittal plane, <laughs> so we're gonna move to a new plane. So uh, no, you don't need to know that, but anyway, so we're gonna come forward like this, and we're gonna twist both ways. Come back up, switch sides, twist. Now not only will this give you a little stretch, but it's also gonna work your core a little bit too, which is nice. Switch and twist. Nice. Scott Gelfie, great to see you, Scott. I'm happy you, should, you signed in. So uh, Scott's a great friend of mine. So all right, we're gonna turn around and do the same thing back. Step forward, little rotation. Come back up, step forward, little rotation. Now don't forget the things we learned. You wanna make sure that front knee's at 90 degrees, back knee's close to the ground, and your heel's off. So we just did a nice rotation this way. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but instead we're gonna bend side to side. So here we go. Lunge, arms up high. This will help you work on your balance. Bend this way, bend this way, back to the middle, back up. Lunge, bend this way, bend this way, back to the middle, back up. And one more time, back over, back over. Okay. Whew. Nice little stretch. All right, we're going to do one more. And this last one's a little more complicated. It's a little bit more of a complex movement. So I'm going to take you through it sideways here, and then I'm going to turn and do it uh, with my markers. So what we're going to do is you're going to lunge, like we've been doing before. And this back leg, I've been telling you to keep the knee close to the ground. We're actually going to straighten it now. And you're going to put your hands on the floor. You're going to move the arm on the same side as your forward leg inside. Does everyone see that? And then you're slowly going to open up your chest facing the opposite side. All right, now I'm going to switch legs and do that again and make sure you have all the right, the right limbs going the right direction. So left leg forward, knee is bent, we're going to straighten it. Arms to the ground, move the left arm inside the leg and open up the chest the opposite way. Oh, and that's a really good stretch. You can feel that in a lot of different areas. And we're going to do that one more time lengthwise. Forward, straighten, arm inside the leg, open up. Oh, and if you lose your balance, catch yourself. <laughs> I've done this exercise many times and I still lose my balance. So make sure you're staying safe. Forward, lunge, straighten, arm inside, open up. Okay, there we go. So, if you do lunges often, I really hope <laughs> any dog stretches Scott asked because of uh, Norman that was in here earlier, you all met. So those are a bunch of uh, lunges that I hope you can add to your routine, um, whether you want to do before a run to warm up or after a run to do some strengthening or stretches. They're super effective. Try not to overdo it. You don't need to do them all the time, but it's a great thing to do every once in a while to complement your running. Okay. So now we're going to play a game. So has anyone out there played red light, green light? I have a bunch of times, and I still love it. So that's what we're going to play today. And what we're going to do, like I talked about how we're doing some, uh, some Olympic racing today is the, theme of our, is the theme of our exercise program. So we're going to make our track. I'm going to use four rolls of toilet paper to make my track. And we're going to run around it. And we're going to run around it while playing red light, green light. Make sure you're in a safe area. We don't want any slipping. We want to make sure we stay up the whole time. So if you're running too fast and you're falling, slow down. All right, so when I say red light, everyone knows the rules. You don't go anywhere. When I say yellow light, we're going to pace ourselves like we learned earlier. Just a slow jog. And when we finish one whole lap, when we get back to the front, we're going to do four lunges. Two on each leg. Two, three, four, and then the fun part everyone's waiting for is green light. When you hear green light, you're gonna go as fast as you can around the track. But when you get to the front again, when you do a whole lap, you're gonna do your four lunges. Slow things down, make sure your lunges are correct. And then as soon as you've done all four, if we're still on green light and I haven't said anything, you're gonna go and do it again. Those are the rules of the game. When you do a full lap and all four lunges, that counts as one point. 
So every time you do that, if someone's close by, um, have them tally up your score. You can comment it at the end or just keep it in your head. And uh, we're all just gonna be honest about what we get. I'm gonna forget my score. So if you're challenging me, I'm not gonna remember it, but I'll try. All right, runners take their mark. We're on red light right now. And yellow light, case. Get to the front. Don't forget your lunges. We don't want any cheating. Two, three, four, green light. Again. Don't forget the lunges, make sure you're doing them correctly just because you're doing them fast. Still want to do them right. And we're still going. And yellow light. Slow things down. Red light. Oh man, this is a fun being stuck in the lunge. Yellow light. Alright, here we go again. I think that's three points for me so far. Is anyone beating me right now? And green light. Sorry if I'm breathing loudly in the microphone. Yellow light. I already lost track of my score. For anyone that's able to keep track of their score right now, I give you props. All right, we're gonna do red light. Stop where you are. We're gonna just sit here. Enjoy the moment, relax a little bit, bring that heart rate down. Green light, here we go, we're back into it. And yellow light. All right, if anyone knows or watches track or race themselves, do you know what happens on the last lap? They ring the bell. So we're going in the last lap here, and I'm gonna ring the bell, and that's our last green light. Are you ready? If you're finished up your last exercise, or your last set of lunges, we're gonna do that right now, and then we're gonna ring the bell and do the last green light. So you're ready for it. Three, four, ding, 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 green light, here we go, last one. Make it a good one. Make sure those lunges are proper. One, two, three, four, and red light, we're done. Oh man, I don't know how many points I got. I lost track after about three. It was somewhere between three and five million. So I don't know, it could have been any of those. But if anyone else knows their score, feel free to write it down. I'd like to see what people got. Okay, so we're done with our exercises. And now we wanna work on doing some stretching. Just slow the heart rate down again and make sure we recover for another session later. So we're gonna start We've done a lot of glute and quad exercises. We're gonna start with a basic quad stretch. You're gonna grab your foot back here, pull it to your butt, and then you wanna, you wanna flex this foot. Dorsiflex is what it's called, and do that, and you should feel a good stretch in your quad here. We're gonna hold this. And try to keep your balance. If you need help, don't be afraid to use the wall. Support yourself with a, a chair or another person, whatever you can use. All right, and hold this for five more seconds. Three, two, one. And during these exercises, it's really important to just focus on your breathing. Try to, because that can really help you come back down to, to your resting heart rate, to a, a good level of recovery. So don't be afraid to use a big inhale and a nice long exhale. That'll just help calm your body and your mind really helpful and if you're, if you're doing intense exercise a lot, it's really helpful to, to practice good deep breaths. Oh man, I'm sweating in here. I hope you guys are too. I've been working pretty hard. <laughs> okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get on the floor here. We're gonna put one foot forward, cross over the other leg, and hug that leg. And that'll be a nice stretch through our gluteus maximus we were talking about earlier. Don't forget those deep breaths. This is definitely one of my favorite stretches of all time. So stretching is great, it's really helpful. Again, it's not, it, it's definitely about stretching out your muscles after a good intense recovery, but a lot, or a good intense session, but a lot of it has to do with uh, 
switch legs right now. A lot of it has to do with prepping yourself for your next session. You know, the goal is to get really uh, consistent with your active lifestyle. So what stretching does is make sure you are not only recovering from your first exercise, but that you're gonna be ready for your next one, whether it's the next day or the next week or whenever it is. All right, a couple more deep breaths. All right, great. All right, and if you wanna add in a few more um, stretches while I chat with you here, um, feel free to do so. Never a bad idea to keep stretching. So last thing, um, oh, we lost track too, that's great. Yeah, a lot of us uh, lost track with our scores. I, I'd be impressed if everyone could uh, keep track of it. So the last thing I wanna chat with you here is, uh, you know, we talked about active lifestyle, we talked about stretching and recovery, and the last thing we wanna talk, well, we talked about warming up, a lot of different things that are helpful with exercise. The last thing we haven't touched on is nutrition. Nutrition is obviously a vital part of a healthy lifestyle and, um, and just act, a physical activity overall because it's, it's fuel for your body. So what I wanna talk about with my nutrition tip is eating after exercise. So when we exercise, we break down a lot of important nutrients that our body is held onto and what it needs, if you wanna build muscle or you know, build, uh, strengthen your muscles or other uh, parts of your body, you need to rebuild those nutrients that were broke down. And to do that, you need to eat food. So for me, if I go and do a really intense workout, I like to always bring a snack with me afterwards, maybe a protein shake, but it doesn't have to be anything entirely specific, as long as it's, it's healthy, um, it's, it's calories, it's good after a really intense session to get food in your body, you know, as close to 15 minutes after the exercise. And again, not only is that gonna help you recover from the exercise you just had, but it's also going to prep you for your next, um, your next spout of exercise, whenever that is. So I'm a distance runner. I burn a lot of energy running around all the time. So I make sure I eat a lot to replace um, that energy and nutritional loss. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm so happy everyone came and, and logged on and watched this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few things. Again, I'm Ben Flanagan, member of the Reebok Boston Track Club, um, elite athlete training for the Olympic Games. Um, I hope you guys had a blast today. I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe during this time. And um, I hope to see you again in the future. So thanks so much for coming out. Take care, everybody.